It's that time of year when I really like to give the car a deep clean after winter. Yesterday I gave the car a good wash and I got in with the brush and kind of got a load of the, the green slime and the bits out of it. So now I'm on to just kind of going round and getting everything back up to scratch. It's not perfect yet. I'm probably going to spend a couple of days getting this one back up to standard. So let's crack on. For close to 20 years now I've probably been going for Auto Glim Fast Glass as my glass cleaner of choice. It's quite a good product, it doesn't cost too much, um, it's easy to apply, easy to use and it leaves the windows nice and streak free with a kind of almost a... and it leaves almost a... And it leaves almost a hydrophobic coating on them. I don't know whether I'm imagining that, but the water seems to clear off a lot easier once you've kind of applied this stuff. I have noticed lately though that my local car shop has some of these alpha detailing products in. So I think it's time today to give them a try and see see how the glass cleaner goes against the auto glim stuff that I've got a 20 year history with. Is this my new glass cleaner of choice? I'll just spray on a good thick coat in there and then take a step back and have a read of the instructions. Luckily it is just as easy as you would think, any idiot can do it, even me. Just spray it on the glass, grab your uh, microfiber cloth and just rub it all over and uh, yeah, you can see here in the video how it's kind of evaporating quite quickly off the windows and leaving a streak free finish. As you can see already, the window is much cleaner. It, it just gets all the little marks and the oily little bits off it and the fingerprints and the watermarks and stuff like that. Uh, I didn't fully follow the instructions. It did say to uh, get another cloth to buff it off. I didn't do that. I just turned the cloth I had and carried on with that. Even so, you can see it does give good results quite quickly. So which one will I buy next time it comes to get some glass cleaner? It'll be this one, it'll be the alpha detailing all round I think. Um, it's a little bit easier to use, it seems to do the job pretty well. Yeah, worth it in my opinion. I wasn't sure what to expect with the alpha products, but I think I will be trying more of them in future. I did get this one to try as well. And even better, this one's bubblegum flavoured. MultiClean is an all-purpose plastic cleaner that you can even use on the upholstery. As you can see here, I did actually clean that previously with a vinyl and rubber car. Um, this MultiClean does it way better, it seemed to just instantly take all the streaks off the plastic. Even better you can see I am quite a sloppy cleaner, I don't tend to mask things off, I'm not really a detailer. But you can see it doesn't leave a mark on the glass and it does just clear off the plastic to leave a completely streak free kind of pristine finish. I'm pleasantly surprised with this one. Normally products that do multiple things aren't very good but this actually seems pretty good. We'll give it a bit more of a challenge and see what it can do in the engine bay. As you can see I've left this most of winter without even opening the bonnet and uh, it is a bit dirty in there at the moment. So we'll give it a quick going over, see if this can just shift some of the dirt and uh, yeah, see how it performs. Again, this seems to do a surprisingly good job at just giving it a quick wipe over. You can see I'm not really spending much time on it. It's just a quick spray and a quick wipe and it, it brings everything up quite nicely. These alpha products, they definitely, they do work. They're not badly priced. Give them a try. Um, I'm, I'm quite happy with the results of them. And the best thing about them, if you overspray them onto your paint, or your, especially with the glass cleaner, if you get it on the plastics, it doesn't seem to leave a messy residue on the plastic and then you have to go and clean the plastic again. And there's not really a lot of need for masking stuff off. I mean, unless you, you are preparing for a concourse competition or something, but for the average person just trying to, you know, decontaminate and clean the car, uh, both of these are, are pretty good. And 
Yeah, I, I would I would use these, you know, in preference to some of the more expensive products. Definitely, when it comes to Auto Glim, I think they they were the king of uh, detailing and car care products. I think they've just stood still for too long in a market that's moving very quickly now, and uh, they are a little bit behind. So, yeah. I know they've got a huge classic car following and it's a very kind of, you know, the auto glim scene type thing, but um, things like this are, are worth giving a go. They're good. And uh, yeah, try it, see what you think. If you get it on the paint and stuff again, it doesn't smear and it doesn't leave like really obnoxious marks. Um, that works quite well. This works pretty well. I'd buy either of them, especially for the price of them. They're a little bit cheaper than other products now. And seeing how both of these work, I would definitely try the rest of the range. If you want to see me try the rest of the range, just drop in the comments which product on the range you want to see me use. Well done Alpha Detailing on a couple of products that are easy to use and uh, give good results. Good enough for me. Again, I'm not a professional detailer. I just like to keep my own cars clean. I like to give them a good deep clean once a year at least to get all the rubbish off. Both of these come recommended, especially for the price. Uh, you can if you afford to go through a ton of this compared to some of the other things that are quite expensive. I was kind of prepared with these to just turn around and say they're not very good because there are a lot of products out there now. Um, it's all about the marketing and getting influencers on board. And, you know, if you give someone free products, of course, they're going to like them. I bought these with my own money. I would buy them again.